Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to hashtag top 10 tips for teens of Triple P Tuesdays. I don't think I got that right. Uh, so I'm Penny yes, and Amanda. And we're here to talk to you about tip number seven today. And that tips is to stay in touch. All right. So how do we keep our finger on the pulse of our teens and tweens lives in a respectful manner you know so uh, being able to maintain our own boundaries around behavior and rules and while also respecting their boundaries around privacy um, so as we've talked about in many other of the tips and we talk about quite regularly those co positive conversations right um, being proactive talking about things before they occur and just having positive conversations about day-to-day -day stuff so acknowledging them you know showing interest in what they're interested in um, and this is from toddlerhood right that that shows them how they're important and how they matter to you and and then they feel respected and cared for and that just creates that beautiful relationship that um, allows them to trust you and come to you as a, as a young adult with the harder stuff um, this area it's also super important nowadays with our teens and especially with covid the increase in screen time so you know, sharing passwords, um, making sure that you're um, doing what you feel is necessary to keep them safe online. So with that, monitoring their chats or checking in with their, if they're on social media, you know, um, if you feel like they're hiding things from you, you know, that's a really good opportunity to have a conversation about safety and what you consider private. And as the parent, you've got to make those tough decisions about your lines and, and what you're going to do in that regard. Um, and um, build connections around the things. Again, I talked a little bit about what they're interested in, even with their online stuff. So just like Amanda talked about in the last tip, um, don't come in guns blazing, you know, come in with a curious attitude, you know, oh, tell me a little bit more about what you're doing there. And, and oh, that looks like you're really involved, you know, show me how that works or oh, see that you've got a friend there online, you know, tell me a little bit more about that. And those can open up, then they don't get defensive. Then they might be willing to have a conversation about what do we and what don't we share? Um, you know, is this a, a line you're allowed to cross? Are you allowed to have this friend chatting or, and it can be a conversation instead of, you know, the, the nagging or the, the, the getting angry and upset. And it, that can be hard because you're worried. As a parent, you worry a lot about what goes on online with your team. Yeah, I think unless I've missed something, it's mostly just keeping an open dialogue and a dialogue that involves them and their interests, not so much you and your interests. So in a sincere way. That's not Duh. too much to, that's not too much to ask. <laughs> I really liked that you um, reminded everybody that, you know, don't come in guns a blazing or, you know, overheated into, into a conversation like that because you're not going to get anywhere. Um, we could talk for days about brain development, but take our word for it that, you know, the second you start or within seconds of you starting to blame or shame or um, react, their brains kind of shut off. And they don't they don't think about those things. So I do know, you know, when we're talking about technology, I do know that it's it's a concern amongst very like a lot of parents. It's like their number one concern. And so, again, just staying interested, staying connected. Yes, you have rights to their passwords. Um, you are the parents still, right? But build that trust. Build that you know that trust around the phone. If if you trust your kids and they're breaking that trust, and you um, figured that out then they suffer the consequences from it, right? We all have challenges and consequences that we have to go through. So that includes technology as well. So yeah, great tip um, to stay in touch. Thanks, Penny. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks everyone. Um, we'll be back next Tuesday at one o'clock with tip number eight, which is involving your teens and tweens in decision-making. Have a great afternoon and we'll see you soon. Bye.